Hey Oscar, Nathan here. So, um, I've got your day wheel installed, the uh, English Roman day wheel, and it's in the incorrect kind. That's why I kind of wanted to see the part number on it if it had one prior to you sending it to me because the part number would have been able to allow me to um, discern whether or not it was the uh, correct one for a four o'clock position or the um, incorrect one for a three o'clock position. This apparently is for the three o'clock crown position. So as you can see, when you try to uh, change the day, how it's obviously not even with the date. And that is because it's a three o'clock position uh, day wheel. You would need the four o'clock one. So if you take the dial off of the uh, dial holder here, You can see, if you look at the uh, stem going in, this would be 3 o'clock position. The Thursday and the 11 lined up with the crown. That would be if it was in um, the uh, 3 o'clock position as opposed to the 4 o'clock. So when it's in the 3 o'clock position, you can see how they're perfectly aligned. But then you look up here at the uh, 4 o'clock position, you see it, they're not. So it's the incorrect one. So um, they don't have any four o'clock position ones available um, anywhere presently that will work because um, they're just out of stock everywhere. Um, I don't know if the seller that you ordered from has them in the four o'clock position, but I would be unwilling to trust them being that they're not having any that have a part number on it. They're probably actually removing the part numbers because it does look like it's genuine Seiko. So they're probably taking like alcohol and wiping off the uh, part number so that they can, you know, get away with selling these as uh, four o'clock when they're actually not so anyhow i'll be putting everything back together with your original one um and then uh shipping this back to you uh, unfortunately there's nothing i can do